hello and welcome to Vambrace, the Cold Soul. This is an adventure in the RPG that actually plays like Darkest Dungeon, and I love adventure games, I love RPGs, and I love Darkest Dungeon. So, yes, this game is extremely promising. And I already tried out a little bit, just to see, just to set it up, and I did the tutorial. I don't, and I don't think we need to do the tutorial, because it's basically like the tutorial from like Darkest Dungeon, and the game is extremely intuitive. So, let's just jump into the story and the action right away. I once read, a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess, I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina, in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair, for answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city. I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. Well, disturbing. Hopefully that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> Well, in the tutorial, you basically just uh, learn how to control your party, and, um, well, that's it. That's basically the Darkest Dungeon tutorial. And the one thing that happens at the end of the tutorial is that uh, you find this girl frozen, and, uh, and uh, you bring her back. Then when, uh, that, that's when the, this uh, well, kind of cutscene or intro plays. But yeah, the tutorial is like uh, an hour long, or like half an hour long, but it's needless to <coughs> go through it, because uh, it just teaches you basic things. Anyway, <laughs> my head. I can't do a lady voice, okay? I I'm just gonna give it my best, but it would be annoying if I just put on like some moving voice. <clears throat> um, glad you can join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking the questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Evelia Lyric. I'm Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you. A moment later and you'll be another piece of frozen de decor gracing the streets. I must have fainted. <coughs> I mean... <coughs> I, I must have fainted. I never felt a chill like that before. Uh, we are, unfortunately, well acquainted with it here. Salas had half uh, a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots, and I was feeling generous. Up there? So, we were underground. Looks like you got a sharp one <laughs> on my hands. I took the library of uh, uh, liberty of searching uh, your stuff. A bunch of climbing gear and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nicolao Lyric. I traveled here from Edina with, my, with his journal. Right. Everyone knows nobody goes in, and nobody ever comes out of Eisner. Eisner? You know, you mean I'm here? I'm actually made it inside the city. 
Suppose, for a moment, I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? That barrier around the city? I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors of the green flame. You're not dead, and as far as I can tell, you're still sane, so let's cut through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? Well, wow. I don't know them. I don't know them. Who are them? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the lady here. Green what? Green flame! The, Ar the Arconic cult hellbent of destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells or have you been living under a rock? You're the one responsible for this frozen curse? I can only... <clears throat> I can assure you, I'm not with them. I just got here. Hey, you're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn some... Edeny decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great ur urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zakgard. Do you know of him? Huh. There's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I'm feeling gracious today. So tell you what, I'm giving you tentative permission to move about uh, Delark until I figure out what to do with you, that is. Delark? Oh, that's the name of our lovely abode deep below Eisner. Welcome to paradise. <clears throat> You're just letting me go? Oh, look at the surprised expression. Uh, there's nowhere to run, so you best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. Uh, you need some if you want to survive down here. You replaced me with money. What's this? I do like the the style, you know. This is kind of pretty, yeah. Just, 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 uh, it just shows the characters. Although it doesn't have voice acting, but it kind of allows me to uh, be more involved with the game. We call it Hellion, and it's the only currency worth anything down here. Considered a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny, and you're dead in a cell or right back on the surface where we found you. RV clear. Crystal. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm famished. Is there anything to eat uh, down here? Okay. Well, I suppose the tutorials never stop. I can run in Dale Arc. I can run around. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, he's he's not, not interacting with me. Never mind that. The captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. Alright. Guess we're not gonna wait, we're gonna room around. That's the style. How to keep your body warm. Step one, make fire. Stand in front of fire, be warm. Wow. Uh... Good tips. But... You know, I would elaborate on the... Yes, but how do you get things to... to how do you how do you think well you might not be able to get things for the fire right and how do you set the fire you know how do you how do you you know let it on fire you know you gotta prepare right hmm. that would be more useful keep your distance from her or you're bound to lose a limb that's isabel salazar the woman knows black magic consider yourself warned <clears throat> i can't place her but for some reason she looks so familiar um it looks well. She kind of has your getup, and also, um, like a 2.0 version. God damn it! <clears throat> well, the frost wind howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. It would be nice to have a, like a co-commentator. Ah, uh, that would be fun. So, anyway, wow. Uh, hey there. <laughs> What? Right. Uh, I don't understand. That's it? Your paperwork is done. Scram before we change our mind. Uh, okay, maybe she can be a companion. Who knows? Alright, let me out. 
Let's keep your distance from her. That's uh, lest you get hexed. The witch knows black magic. Uh, you already told me that. Okay, fine, whatever. All right. This is the room around town thing. Where do we go? Do we go toward the exclamation mark? Let's let's do the exclamation mark. Uh. <clears throat> Boxier market. Oh, a lot of boxes here. Halt! You're not permitted to be roaming around here. <clears throat> uh, calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Ah, oh, girl, eh? You tricky bastard. You still need to check her papers, though. I still need to check her papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. Alright. Go on. Who is this smooth talker? <gasps> Ooh. Maho... Poram? What a gorgeous eyes the lady has. Mahoram. Relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but this isn't just a fancy way to say your teeth or of antiquities. <laughs> Why are you so concerned about that? That's your future boyfriend right there. Nope. You offend my sensibilities with such barred, barred words. I'm merely a humble adventurer who's got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name's Lyric. I start... well, it's definitely not Lyria, it's Lyric. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick ear, my lady. A life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. But the kind of the guard captain told me that we don't really have a lot of outsiders here. Because no one can get in. But I suppose this is a pretty big area still. Ah, forgive me. You must be famished. Allow me to take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. Come then, follow me. Ooh, very promising, very friendly. I like this. Oh. Cat Asian lady, kind of. Hello, Yasuo. This is Lyric, my dear friend since today. She's gawking at me. Yasuo, huh? That's a pretty name. <clears throat> How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, milady. Don't you have any Hallion? Hallion? Come on, don't play dumb! The guard captain just told you that. <clears throat> the fox, your traditional bird, bird, burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice for, the sp for spooks. You mean this, right? Lambu gave me some... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the one. Great! Shall we make a deal? Oh, let's go! Uh... Okay, we traded money. They like survivors and sober raids. Conduct trade using a paper currency called Hellion. You'll need to scavenge and sell supplies found on the field to earn more. Uh, switch between the shop, wares, uh, and your image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, again, most of all is, like, most of it is completely intuitive. And merchantry represents your ability to negotiate with merchants, more options and rare items will appear in the shop if you have a high merchantry stat. Now, the thing is, uh, the highest stat in the group counts, according to the tutorial. So yes, you you need to build a, or you, you need to have a, like a optimized group. Maybe you're gonna have like a, a person who is like a really good merchant, but is not gonna be as good of an adventure, adventurer, so... That's gonna be a uh, uh, strong possibility. What are we doing here? Uh, I hate to uh, kind of forget your name. Foxy Lady. I'm not sure. I, I, I said I was hungry and I just can't tell uh, what is really food here. This looks like a belt to me. Gecko Tail Skewer. Um don't know 
That's the only one that seems remotely edible. Should I buy it? Wait, I have 500 or what is that? I I'm just gonna assume that I can... I'm we're just gonna buy that. So we bought one. Gecko Tail Skewer. Alright, let's just leave. I'll be seeing you around! Well, thanks for showing me that. I guess I'm gonna eat some tail now. Stop right there, crim criminal scum! Come on. Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Delark? What are you doing out of prison? She has a very manly voice. <laughs> she kind of sounds like all the guards. <laughs> Mayhaps there is a misunderstanding. Shut your mouth, Mohoram! Guards, arrest her! What? Whoa, what? Come on, you didn't get the memo? <clears throat> Maybe I'm just gonna change her voice to something more reasonable. I honestly didn't think you were gonna make it when we dumped you in that cell. Well, letting me out certainly helps with that. Celeste, right? Lanville mentioned you, your team found me. Yeah. Uh, save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. I couldn't even tell in the tutorial because uh, she had a helmet on. <clears throat> regardless, you have... Well, regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might uh, be a green flame agent we could interrogate. Couldn't tell it's hard to come by nowadays. I understand. Everyone's suspicious, but I already told Anvil I have no connection to them. Am I to believe you just waltzed into the into Ice Snare? Ridiculous! The frost fell surrounding this city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that uh, wretched gift that keeps giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. If what Anvil said is true, I'm the first person to enter the city in a year. Nobody outside has the slightest clue of what's happening here. Want to know what really happened? We were the fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and drifters is as old as the city itself. You never imagined Eisner would devolve into total chaos. The green flame had been stroking tensions for months, if not years. Uh, when the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it. But I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now. That's convenient. Maybe Lanville believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You got the wrong idea about me. I've came here in a good fate. Too bad. You're marching right back to that prison cell, and you're gonna learn to get real cozy with that friend, which friend of yours. Damn. Thought I was uh, in the clear. <laughs> yes. I got nothing to say about this. Oh, uh, big man, uh, can you uh, stand to my uh, defense? I kind of play her as like a... Yes, kind of as a, as a lost princess in a way. Lady in distress. Bum, we have a problem. And you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a... There's a mad wraith in Delark! Come on, man. Shh. What? How's that possible? It's at the ascending room, please come! Just my luck. Don't think this changes anything, you're coming with me! Could the rumors about the mad wraiths of Eisner be true? Well, well, I guess you're gonna find out. Why am I coming with her? Oh, this is a big fight. Everybody, stand back! That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad! How do you know? Such a spook. Barr! Said the, said the pirate spook. <gasps> Watch out! 
Oh, wait, what? Is that it? Just one sh one hit? Holy crap. He's one punch woman. Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, it appears some some spooks hitched a ride to Delark in the ascending room. Who was on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as long as <clears throat> as to how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. Yes, uh uh, that's strangely too easy. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I, um... Sir, we, we shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Come on! What do I need to do to prove myself? Nonsense! Get these men to the Sylvan Healing Hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause any unnecessary panic. And... Post some guards on the surface. Lyric, beat me in the war room at the garden's barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. Well, at least he didn't order me to his personal chambers. Oh, what, what can we do here? You are that <clears throat> you're the outlander that Sarge brought down. What are you doing here? Lambie let me go. What was he thinking? You may be free now, but you're still not permitted here. Step away. Oh. I have a strong suspicion that you, we may need to finish this initial phase before we can freely roam around town. So, let's get him. Guard Brax. Maybe I should just, uh, yeah. Maybe I should just have more manageable episode lengths. So it's gonna be like 20 to 30 minutes. And, uh, yeah. This is a good time to take a break, so see you next time. Thanks for watching.